Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we did the singing caves thing at Lustrum and Mr. Pennies and all that stuff, which was really interesting, but ended up with my terror being extremely high. But thankfully, by the end of that episode, going to the Circus and New Winchester and Port Avon and all those things, I managed to get my terror down to 37, which is totally fine, totally manageable. Now, as far as what I want to do next, I think I know. I'm not 100% sure. First, I want to go to New Winchester and just kind of stock up and see if there's any new prospects and kind of, you know, get my head straight and restock there before I decide exactly what I want to do. I do want to mention a couple things first, though. I forgot to change my officers back to my usual officers, because if you remember, back when I was trying to climb up to the singing caves at Lustrum, I realized that it uses my, I think it was iron, yeah, it used my iron skill, and so I realized if I switched to some other officers, I would get bonuses to my iron and have a little bit better chance of climbing the mountain. So I did that, but then I forgot to change the officers back. Well, they're back to normal, the Incognito Princess. Fatalistic Signalman, and the Rat Brigade. Oh, yeah, and just also has nothing to do with this playthrough, really, in particular, but I was reading the updates for this game, and apparently it's been pretty successful for the company, like, financially, which is really heartening, because, God, they, they certainly deserve it, and I really want to see more games like this. So it's very nice to see. I was kind of worried it might be too much of a niche sort of game to be very popular, but... No, it seems like it's doing really well, critically and, and financially. Okay, back to New Winchester. Homestead. It's thriving. Uh, definitely eat my fill to get my terror down. Should go down by 10%. 37 to 27. Sticky porridge and viney vegetables. Thank you. Just turned in three port reports, which should give me enough to affect the balance of power in the reach. Yep. Oh, somebody explained to me what all these different stats meant, by the way. I figured out some of them, but not all of them. So, there's three different stats for the Tacities. There's fortunes, gratitude, and reputation. The gratitude is basically like how much they owe you. It's just like a currency thing. You know, if you spend it or don't spend it, it doesn't affect what they think of you. That's what you spend to get secrets or affect the balance of power or anything like that. Uh, the reputation is just like it sounds. It's what they think of you. I'm now beloved. The one that I didn't know, though, is what exactly fortunes meant. Fortunes is how the Tacities are doing in the war. So now they're at 93, thriving. So they're thriving in the reach, thriving in the war. Yeah, it's good to know. Uh, which means that the fortune for the stovepipes now being zero desperate is good. They're doing very, very poorly in the reach. Now that it's at zero, I'm, like, we already had the company retreat from New Winchester because of my affecting of the balance of power in the reach. I wonder what might happen next. You know, because I, I keep doing this. What's it gonna do? Maybe they'll just leave the reach altogether? They'll even leave Port Prosper, maybe? Does the Indirect Veteran have anything new to say? No. Looks the same. I would expect them to say something more to me at one point, like, Hey, you've risen up in the ranks a lot. You've been help helping us a lot. We got this plan that we want your help with or something. Hopefully that'll happen at some point. I'm sure there's more interactions with the Tacities than just turning in port reports and clicking a button to affect the balance of power in their reach. There's gotta be something more than that. I guess we have been getting the occasional quest to go help out the Tacities. Actually, I think we have a quest right now to find, like, a missing ship or something like that around Hybris, I think, if I remember right. Anyway, let's get things fixed up. I only have one prospect at the moment, so I hope there's more. Oh, oh, hold on. These might be some bad ones, actually. Yeah, this will aid the company's war effort, so no. Uh, the parsimonious chairman of the Windward Company is looking to outfit a dozen more engines with the appropriate precautions. This doesn't say it will aid the company's war effort, but I'm literally delivering munitions to <laughs> the chairman of the Windward Company, so no, not doing that one either. 
17 days till new ones are available. Okay, well, let's hire some more people. I usually do this off camera, hiring crew and like fixing my hole, but I don't know, I haven't done it in a while. Let's do it. I need four, so let's do a hire many crew. They stumble aboard, blinking away the fog. They're just happy to have beds, apparently. 60 sovereigns. Let's repair. Fully repair. 36 sovereigns. What else do I want to do here? That's the main thing. I guess buy supplies once I decide where I want to go. Do I want to buy a new weapon or something? Um, I do want to store these away in my bank. They must have bought these on a deal somewhere, probably. Dear God, I have 17 barrels of unseasoned hours. I have a lot of money tied up in all these things that I've been buying. Oh, that bronze wood. Bronze wood's worth a lot. Yeah, if I can just get some good prospects, I can get a lot of money and finally buy a new ship, I think. I'm pretty sure I explained this, I think, at some point, but I'm going to pass up this 1500 coin one, and I'm just saving up enough for one of the 3500 coin ones. So I probably want, like, maybe 5,000 coin before I buy one, so I have money for all the attachments that I want. Let's do some exploring and try to do a quest at the same time. So, we have on board a retiring filmmaker. She promised to leave New Winchester for good. She changed her mind. You've been asked to bring a filmmaker back to New Winchester from Hypris. Hypris lies to the east, northeast of New Winchester. Oh, they're not actually aboard. But they're going to be. So, let's do this quest and find Hypris at the same time. East, northeast. That would put it... Somewhere around here, which is... The death place. That's that's the bad place. I'm scared of going there because we had a uh, bad dream about that place a while ago. But I'll go there again. It's fine. I'll be smarter this time. I won't run out of supplies. Let's go. I'll stop at the circus on the way there and get a port report. Let's get a port report from the circus. Oh yeah, somebody told me that the description when you get a port report changes with how well the circus is doing. So let's read this. As for the circus itself, it thrums with activity. The dock is crammed with vessels from all over the reach. A few look to have come all the way from Albion. The usher barely has a moment to catch his breath between new arrivals. Let's also visit the amusements just once because I don't want to take too big of an advantage of this because it reduces my terror by 10%. Yeah and just costs tickets, which are free, and you can just keep doing it. So just once per visit. And let's see if they have any deals. No. Okay, well, let's buy uh, an extra supply. Never hurts, and let's go. I don't remember from the dream exactly what this place looked like back here. Chance's Gloom. I think through Chance's Gloom it like goes up this way. Like that. I think that's a dead end. I don't remember if there's any way through up here. Like do I want to go this way? Well, let's try. I've never really been back here behind the circus. This is as far as I've gone just to see the obelisk. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's all closed off there. So I'm going to go down to Chance's Gloom. If I remember right, there's a lot of sh uh, marauders down here at Chance's Gloom. to hear gunfire. Yep.
that felt good. That was exciting. Unusual items are sovereigns. Oh, right. I keep forgetting the amount of sovereigns you get is terrible. So, unusual items. Two salons dude gossip. Recover its weaponry. Heck yes. Your crew return in one piece and bearing the spoils of your victory. It was a right devil to remove, Captain, says the lead engineer. Hope you'll make good use of it. The Marauder Cannon launches chunks of jagged superheated rock via a brutally basic mechanism. Simple, ruthless, effective. Reclaimed Marauder Mongonal. Let's see how that compares. I don't think I can install it until I actually dock somewhere, but let's see how that compares to my blunderbussy thing. So, damage 24, 25, range 400, 750, heat 40, heat 50. Okay. I guess it's, it's basically just better. It does have significantly more heat, but the range increase is very nice. I wonder if it's a more concentrated shot, which would be nice because the shotgun, the blunderbuss thing really does spread out very wide. So you got, you got to be super close. Maybe this is better. Smoking balls of superheated debris. Yeah, it might actually not be a spread shot at all. It might just be one big thing. That's yeah, it's got the same range as my Jerusalem missile launcher. It does 2.5 times the damage of the missile launcher and doesn't even have two times the heat generation. I do want to try that thing out next time I dock. Hey, wait. Is this Hybris? Didn't mean to shoot. Oh, they're shooting the thing I just recovered. Yep, that's gotta be the thing. Oh, that's cool looking. Looks like it throws that shrapnel when it explodes. Let's repair our hole, sure. Always gonna be at 100%. Oh, come on. That is not the right way to go. Hmm. Explore the captain's cabin. More juicy gossip. Yeah, this must be Hybris, right? So much debris around here. Five whole. Back up to full. Okay. That really looks like a place to dock. It's even got the red lights and everything. What the hell? Huh. 
Huh. I mean, if my bat's not even finding anything, then... I mean, this can't be a station. It's not marked as a station. That is so strange. Okay, I guess... Um, should I go back here? Let's, let's see where this goes. I don't know if this will take me more to the right. Or if it's going to take me back out towards the circus. Battle of Culverston. So this, these are just the remains of all the ships during the battle. There it is! That must be it! Ooh, I hope this can reach it. I might- I might have to go all the way back here and here. place is so cool looking. Hmm. I'll keep following it in the hopes I can come around to the other side. place really does give me very bad feelings after what happened here. In my dream. Loot the hold. Intriguingly bulging sack. Jumble of undistinguished souls. Oh god, this is the horror again. Uh the freaking dead sun. The remains of a celestial behemoth rotting gently. And a bunch of tackities. Oh wow. Oh that tackity's about to hit me. Solid crate. Barrel of unseasoned hours. It takes a wrench and your strongest stoker to lever off the lid. When at last the crate opens with a heavy thud, your crew gasp. Inside, the lustrous saltine crystals of ground hours, mined and refined for commercial use. This is the final product of London's greatest and most precious enterprise. Ow. The Tackety Scout UCE, so it goes. <laughs> I think the ships are named after, like, Kickstarter backer something like that. I think. I think I saw something about that on Twitter. UCE to hell and back. Fates fall. God, this thing is so disturbing looking. Oh. It's a tackity, but they're angry because I just messed with their... Oh wait, they're all angry at me. Holy shit. It's so weird how they get angry at me just for mining something. Like, I didn't even know they were there. They can't blame me, can they? Anyway, I'm not gonna fight three of them of my own people.
Hmm. Down here would probably go to this thing, but I'm curious what's up here. I didn't see this part in my dream. And I'm still good on supplies. I really love the environments in this game. They're so varied and beautiful and bizarre. What are these white things? Cold, silent homestead. Now let's search it. Two crates of nostalgic crockery. Eager to see what it has to offer. Meat too. Whoa. Oh, that's from a level up. Looked like my ship exploded. That's so cool. The dock is just on a like a dead tree branch. Their homes are on mushrooms and growths and stuff. fledgling colony trying to dig its fingernails deep enough into the spongy fungal fabric of the reach to cling on when hard times come. It's a sad truth that many more settlements are founded than flourish. Hey, look at this, like, this image of this, like, green fungal town. <laughs> Nestled amidst sprawling, sporing gardens of fungus, Hybris is a colony of octogenarians. Rotting buildings sloughed gently into decay. Maintenance is poor, the population aged. An insect, speckled with fungus, flies past drowsily. Growth asks no license. Reads a barely legible sign staked into a collapsed pile of fungal eggs. <laughs> Ew. Um, well, let's gather a poor report first. Not much seems to happen in this sleepy place, but perhaps someone will be interested. Life moves slowly here. There are arguments over the rules of bowls and the correct amount of time to steep tea. The station master seems to avoid the villagers. There's an unusual, unusual unique quality to the starlight which filters through the underside of the caps. A venerable, welcoming party has gathered. The wizened mayor approaches. His back is bent, but his pace is steady. He has a firm handshake. Welcome to our little hideaway. Watch your step. That one's about to fruit. True enough, the little white sack at your feet suddenly splits. Snaking tendrils of red fungus explode outwards. The mayoral assistant, a severe woman of slightly less advanced years, guides the mayor to a nearby bench. You may stay as long as you like. Something is changing in Hybris. I'm intrigued. Um, let's, let's look for the filmmaker first. Search for 
Oh, MME. That's the thing someone told me stands for Mrs., I think. Let me just double check that. MME. They stand for Medico Marketing Excellence. No, I don't think that is it. Um, MME, the French abbreviation for Madame. Okay, so Madame. So, search for Madame Lumiere. A filmmaker should be difficult to miss in this hushed, secluded place. Loud curses lead you towards an elderly woman fiddling with an antiquated camera. She sighs and shuts the frame. That'll do. She offers a trembling hand. Lumiere, once a renowned explorer and filmmaker, now, as you see, a cough rattles through her. You from New Winchester? I'll leave with you. I can pay my way. I'm done here, and my lungs won't tolerate much more of this. She smiles wanly. I have a premiere to plan. Seventeen sovereigns. That is not much money, but that's fine. Your Madame Lumiere quality is now one. Delicate inquiry to the wise and mayor. Wander the wilds of Hybris. Take tea at the Brendan or explore the settlement. Uh, what kind of shops do you have here, by the way? Got some sacks of verdant seeds. Should probably buy that. I'll wait till I go to leave, though. Captains tread reluctantly on Hybris, some mutter of infection. The few that stop huddle by the dock to trade and converse. You may find bargains here, or fulfill prospects you've claimed. Trade with the locals. The only thing to buy at Hybris are edible mushrooms and seeds from the blotchy crops grown by the locals. Let's... Let's explore the settlement. Hybris has only a handful of buildings, clustered amongst folds of fungus. Yet life goes on here. Life moves at a slow pace on Hybris. Several colonists tend the allotments, while others sit squabbling outside the Brendan. Periodically, a lady emerges with tea and fungal crackers. <laughs> hmm, wonder what those taste like. A carpenter struggles with the fretwork on the new town hall. The carvings are of factories and faceless workers. I can't remember what they looked like, he says sadly. That is so sad. The workers are faceless because they can't remember what they look like. That is so sad. Oh, right, that's the only thing to do there. Hmm... Let's wander the wilds of Hybris. Swamp and marsh, fungus and frond. Nowhere in the Reach has been so thoroughly colonized, it'd be a shame not to see the sights. Fingers of black and red mushroom rise from the sodden ground. Tendrils of white fungus from va form vast arches. An earthly smell pervades the air and follows you through the swamps like a lost dog. In the middle of a grove of writhing sacks, you find a plinth, adorned with broken and twisted nameplates, the shape of collars. Brabazon Workworld has been imprinted on each. I just love this here. In the middle of a grove of writhing sacks. A grove of writhing sacks. Man, does that paint an image. So I wonder what that means. The, uh... Oh. Wait, did I just... I just found something else by wandering the wilds again. I wanted to look at the name that was imprinted on those plinth things again. Um, clouds of spores drift through the ropey tendrils of freestanding fungus. Giant ants, pierced with the spines of mushroom, crawl to the tops of trees to better spread their spores. You wander amidst the webs and arches of mushrooms for some hours until you stumble across a shallow graveyard. Each headstone bears a number of seven digits or more. Barely covered in the shallow earth are sets of manacles. What's a manacle? Not a monocle, a manacle. I should look that up. If I don't know a word, look it up. Manacles. Uh, one of two metal bands joined by a chain for fastening a person's hands... Oh, ma... Wait, manacle? Like... 
basically like cuffs. You know, like old style cuffs. Manacle. Why do I feel like I know those by a different name? Oh, I think I know them by the name Shackles. Yeah, Shackles is what I think of. That's the most common term I've heard for them. I guess Manacle is another word. It could be more popular as a, as a British term for it, possibly. Just guessing. Well, I'm just wondering how many different things can happen when I, when I wander the wilds. Oh, this is the plinths again. Brabazon Workworld. What is Brabazon Workworld? Maybe like a company that made the plinths? What are the plinths for, though? Let's take tea at the Brendan. The only lodging house in Hybris and the only building with more than one story. The smell of stewed tea permeates the dilapidated boards. A large woman of advanced years produces a pot of green tea and doilies from a moldering tea chest. She blows the spores off the cups. <laughs> Back there, I used to read the leaves on our breaks. She peers into your finished cup. I'm sorry, I don't see a long future for you, my love. Make the most of what you have. Gee, thanks. Somehow that reduced my terror. Knowing that I'm going to die soon reduced my terror. Let's make a delicate inquiry to the wizened mayor. Everyone here is very old indeed. Is there a lower age limit on settling in Hybris? The wizened mayor chuckles. <laughs> oh no, we'd welcome youth, but we don't get many settlers coming out this way. We're happily secluded here. He smiles wistfully as, across the marsh, his mayoral assistant trounces an unfortunate... at bowls. Wait. Bowls? Bowls is a game? Um, our best years were spent by others. The wise and mayor glances at his allotment, which is overflowing with burgeoning mushrooms. We have plans to hopefully change that, though. Colonists are enjoying a second youth on Hybris. Our best years were spent by others. What do you mean by that? There were all those manacles, the shackles. Could these be prisoners? Spent by others. Like, could these people be... Escapees or people that just served a long sentence? I, something's going on. There's not much I can do, though. Like, explore the settlement? I mean, we've already done that. That's the same as before. Have more tea? Oh, it'll actually keep reducing my terror. That's the same description. Wander the wilds. Already done that a couple times. Yep, there's the plinth. Don't think I have anything to do here. Seems like that's it for now. Okay, well, in that case, let's buy up all the verdant seeds, which actually leaves me with, like, no room for any supplies. What do I have in my hold? Oh, I've got the gun, I've got some barrels of unseasoned hours, <laughs> crate of nostalgic crockery. Right. Hey, now would be a good time to put in this weapon, though, right? And level up. So... What should I replace? Like, what should this replace? I just, I'm thinking of how often I use this blunderbuss type thing. Like, it's come, it's definitely come in handy in some cases. But most of the time, it isn't useful. But I mean, this is basically just a better version of this. So let's just replace this. That's fine. I mean, it's not like... It's not like I want two of the same weapon to be able to fire super fast, because firing, like, super fast is not really a useful thing because of heat. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna have to hold off on firing a lot just to avoid overheating, so... It's fine just having one of each. I don't need to be able to shoot, like, these and the missiles at the same time. For the next level up, I'm gonna go with a Promise of Days. Her Majesty offered the earliest pioneers to enter the heavens a grant of 30 years, 
if they would build houses and necessities for those who would follow. You were one of the first through the doors to the sky and accepted the offer. How did you spend the Queen's hours? Yeah, Elizabeth is definitely an explorer, not somebody who wants to be tied down, certainly not somebody who wants to toil and build for the Queen, Her Majesty. Absolutely not, no. They saw an opportunity to go explore an entirely new space, and they took it. And they went gallivanting. You took the offered time and fled, leaving your crimes and past behind. While London grew, you explored the wide sky, untroubled by laws or horizons. I want to head back to New Winchester now. I'm trying to think of the best way to do that, because I'm pretty low on supplies. I, I mean, I know I could just dump some stuff and buy more, but I don't want to. I'm fairly low on supplies, and I don't have that much fuel. And your fuel consumption, by the way, is... Uh, it changes depending on how full your hold is. Mine's obviously completely full, so it's going to use quite a bit. So, like, I want to get back over to New Winchester by going down here, so I can also explore new stuff along the way. But that's not the smartest thing, because I'm so low on supplies. Now, I want to get back safely, so I'm going to go back this way. We've just been to the horror, so I don't think we're going to get more terror from it. And I can explore at least this little spot here. 